guys, welcome to the video. In this video, we are comparing the two most popular setting powders in their category. This is the most popular setting powder at the drugstore right now. This is the most popular setting powder at the high end, like high end setting powder, Sephora, whatever. Um, we are going to do a competition. We are going to see who is the best, who it, who is truly the best setting powder. We have the Fit Me Maybelline in one corner. We have the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the other corner. I'm so excited um, to do it. We're going to jump right in because I don't like when people babble, babble, babble forever and ever. If you're here to see this, this is what you're going to see. Um, I just want to say before we get started, a special thank you to every single person who has been commenting on my videos. I love interacting with you guys like thank you just thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your love support encouragement subscribing to my channel you guys are awesome amazing I love hearing how like when you guys buy the makeup I recommend or when you guys like try something out and it works for you or just it's awesome so I love you guys so much and without further ado let's jump straight into the video bye Mwah! Welcome to the Battles of the Setting Powder. It is in the right corner we have Fit Me by Maybelline and in the left corner we have Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So let's just jump straight in. Okay so I'm going to use my Forever 21 Bunny Primer. I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. Uh, you guys, I have been loving doing my foundation with my fingers. Ever since I did that finger video on doing my foundation. I'm going to be using my NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade of Vanilla. I really like this concealer, but I feel like they don't really give you a lot. Like, they give you a lot more with Tarte Shape Tape, and I think the Tarte Shape Tape is a little bit cheaper. Okay, so this half of my face, I'm going to use the um, Fit Me Translucent Setting Powder. So let me just compare them really quick. So this, the Fit Me comes in a little square one. Laura Mercier comes in the round cap. This one is a tad bit darker. It's more on the orangey orange -y side as the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder is a little more on the yellow side. This is the shade Fair Light. There's one more shade that's lighter than this shade. So I would be open to trying that one. I just, because it wasn't translucent, I didn't want to get something that was going to leave like a terrible white cast on my face. So I'm dipping it in. Okay. And I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to cover the entire face, or the entire side of my face. I'm going to dust off my brush as much as I possibly can, get all of the powder out of it. So I would use it with my beauty blender, but I want it to be fair. We are dipping in our Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and as you guys know, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I am a die-hard fan of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I have never found another setting powder that is even that I like as much, especially from the drugstore. If I'm keeping it totally honest, I've never found a setting powder from the drugstore that I'm in love with. I found ones that work, but not ones that I'm in love with. Okay, so. I love doing side-by-side -side comparisons. All right, you guys, so I let them both sit for a pretty good amount of time. So let me dust off. We do stop the Laura Mercier side. Kind of what I expected. Okay, now the moment of truth. Drum roll. Okay, let me dust off the Fit Me side. Oh my. Goodness. 
You guys, what is happening right now? What is happening right now? Oh my God, you guys. I swear to goodness, they look exactly the same. There's absolutely no difference. If anything, the Maybelline side looks better. I swear, you guys, I am not lying. I am not joking. If it, I'm not kidding, the powder has settled in a little bit less on this side, which is the Maybelline side. I am freaking out. Can you, I mean, can you guys tell the difference? You guys, what is happening? What is happening? My lines are more visible on the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder side. Even like my crow's feet, like my under eye wrinkles, like my under eye lines. This side just looks smoother. Oh my god, you guys. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. This is insane. What? What is happening? Oh my god. I'm like shook. I thought... I was honestly scared to dust the setting powder off because I thought that it was gonna like, you know, I was like, you know, they're gonna be similar, but this side's gonna be better, but it's not. I recommend trying this powder out even if you have a high-end setting powder that you like. I still recommend getting that powder. It, it's just worth it. It's worth it to save money. It's worth it. I, I love that powder. It might be my new favorite powder. Let me put on some contour. Let me see. How does it hold up? I'm just trying to like do a quick little like, how does it play with others? I can't believe this, you guys. Like, I can't. Oh, it almost looks like this side is more lifted if that makes sense this side just looks more snatched if that makes sense like this side my imperfections are being accentuated a little bit more clinging to texture ever so slightly this side is like flawless airbrushed and the Laura Mercier is still if anything the, the differences are very subtle but there's still differences you guys, I was not expecting that at all. See, I literally, I love doing side-by-side -side comparisons. I knew I liked that powder. The drugstore is just such a good place to get makeup. It really is. I've been trying to find this. I saw on Michael Finch's channel, he was like freaking out over the Fit Me powder. And I'm like, how can it really be that good? You know it's a drugstore powder, but it is. It's good, you guys. I'm here to tell you. I swear, okay, so I'm, I've am i tried this powder before, and yesterday we were like running some errands and stuff, and it's, I've been using the Fit Me setting powder. I um, was like, you know what, I've been using the Fit Me for so long, let me just use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. We went errand running, like running around with kids all day, blah, blah, blah. I got home, I looked in the mirror, and I was like, what's up with my makeup? Like, it just looks different. Like, it doesn't look like how it's been looking. And I swear, you guys, it must be the powder. Like, I don't know if it just agrees with my skin. My skin just... My skin's not used to expensive stuff, you guys. My skin's like... <laughs> We've always had the cheap stuff. Give us the cheap stuff. So I'm just gonna put on, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. I'm just gonna put on some little bit of eyeshadow. I'm not gonna go crazy. Every time I look in the mirror, I see it, the difference all over again. I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna go for a very nice, kind of like a neutral look, if I can help, if I can. Then I'm gonna go in with this mauve purpley color, and then I'll just like warm up the eyes a little bit. Then I'll go in with this red color right here. This like brick color. Pop that in, pop that in. And then I'm just gonna go in with a brown shade and just kinda like warm up. And then I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here, put it on my inner lid. Again, this is just a very basic shade, basic eye look, because I just want the powder to kind of like show through like what it looks like. All right, you guys, so I'm back. I just put on a little bit of lipstick, which is the Kylie, oh crap, what's the name of it? I'll list it down below. Um, so by way of knockout, the winner is the Fit Me 
Maybelline setting powder. Yay! This is so crazy to me. Like I was not expecting this. This powder is $8. This powder is $38. This powder is sold at CVS. This powder is sold at the drugstore. This powder just came out. This powder has been a tried and true staple in the makeup community for several years now. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless, I guess. So I'm really happy about it though because I feel like when you, so this is the Fit Me Maybelline side, this is the Allura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder side, but Randy, Randy, is there one side of my face you can see, wh well which side of my face do you think looks better? So like I did one makeup, I did one powder oh, with this side, one powder with this side, which side? Do you think looks is there a side that looks better okay let me just let me see this side all right turn to the you're right they're both about the same i i think they look the similar but i would say this one's a lot more smooth it's kind of a little more airbrush though your your right side's a little more airbrush. hey guys this okay. is my Thank channel you. Thank you. And see guys even when you know if your husband can tell the difference <laughs> There's a difference. Yeah, I am shocked myself. I really can't believe it. I don't know what else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. I will see you guys in the next video. You guys are awesome, amazing. Make sure if you recreate any of my looks to tag me on Instagram at Halsey is my real name. My Snapchat is Halsey underscore Chase, I think. So follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, tag me in the looks you recreate. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Mwah!